no mosque, not here, not now, not ever. There is a certain degree of hatred of Islam in America, like these demonstrations a few years ago against the building of a new Islamic center in New York City, near where Al-Qaeda suicide attackers brought down the World Trade Center in 2001. Sometimes reporters aren't sure what to believe about Islam. It's a problem the new online guide is intended to remedy. Traditionally, Western and American media have relied on inaccurate uh, terminology to describe either events, societies, or the faith itself, and they resorted to stereotypical depictions. And uh, this guide is very useful because it helps journalists, wherever they are, with glossary, uh, accuracy uh, of definitions, uh, uh, terms, and concepts, and also it provides uh, resources for them in, within the Muslim community, uh, spokespeople, um, and also it delegitimizes uh, drivers of hate who sometimes take to the airwaves and uh, project themselves as experts on Islam. The Council on American Islamic Relations has long pushed to improve the image of Muslims in the American media. I work on a daily basis with media professionals and I, I find that the vast majority of them are doing the best they can with the knowledge and resources they have available. You have a tiny minority of people out there who have a particular anti-Muslim agenda. The new online guide includes chapters on women and Islam, covering terrorism, and Islam 101, a basic guide to the religion. The Council on American Islamic Relations, Nihad Awad, says the Western media often doesn't know what Islam stands for. They resort to, to concepts that are even not Islamic uh, in depicting uh, women's rights or how Muslims view non-Muslims. The use of infidel, for example, is inaccurate. There is no such term in the Quran or Muslims do not use uh, this term in referring to Christians and Jews. These are people of the book. They are believing uh, people uh, who share uh, faith with the Muslims uh, around the world. One reason there is so much confusion about Islam is that there are so few Muslims in America. They make up less than 1% of the population. But Islam is now the fastest growing religion in the country. In America, politicians and commentators sometimes make bigoted and uninformed remarks about Islam and Muslims. This massive online guide is intended to help journalists make sure that at least in their reporting, they are accurate and fair. Burton Bolag, KSA2, Washington.